a disappearing act. In our digital age of Google and GPS, MySpace and MapQuest, it's getting harder and harder to hide anything. But what about trying to hide yourself? One man who's immersed in electronics for a living has tried to do just that, disappear. But could he do it? Here's John Berman. Do you ever feel like you want to get away from everything? Work, family, bills, cell phone, Blackberry? Ever get the urge to disappear without a trace? Just how far are you willing to take it? As far as Evan Ratliff? Where's Evan? I don't know. Evan is a reporter for Wired Magazine who set off a remarkable manhunt, trying to disappear for a full month. How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done it. Evan knows. It's harder than you think. Earlier this year, money manager Marcus Schranker failed spectacularly when he tried to stage a plane crash. Investigators found him easily after discovering Google searches on his laptop, such as how to jump out of the airplane while parachuting. In the modern age, we leave an almost unerasable digital footprint from our ATM cards, cell phones, laptops, revealing who they like to talk to, what their favorite things are, where they've been, and what they've looked for on the internet. Evan's editor shared all the information investigators would have. Bank records, old email accounts, social networking sites, his height, weight, and the fact he was allergic to gluten in food. Hundreds of amateur sleuths joined the hunt. The first discovery? Footage of Evan talking to a video blogger on California's Venice Beach with dark hair and a goatee. Uh, I guess that made it seem a little more real. That was two weeks ago. Tuesday, he was caught with a shaved head in New Orleans by a group tracking him online. I never thought that they would get me this way. How? From a trail of links on Facebook, they discovered his computer's IP address, a digital fingerprint that revealed he was in New Orleans. Next, they scoured the neighborhood near the only gluten-free pizza place in the city. And that's where they found him. So what did Evan learn? Fantasies about disappearing are just that, they're fantasies. Evan Ratliff, lost and found. John Berman, ABC News, New York.